Well, well, Doc, what's the, what's the big McGilla here? What's with my boy? Measles. Measles? Oh, no. Say it isn't so, Doc. You're kidding, huh? That's what it is. Well, don't get excited. It's not serious. Sure, though, it isn't serious. No, it's not serious. Just a catastrophe, that's all. To you, it's a catastrophe. To me, it's a catastrophe. Every seat in the house is sold out. Well, I better take care of refunding the ticket money. Listen, uh, just tell him he's sick, but don't say what's wrong with him, you hear me? Oh, measles, measles. <laughs> Listen, Doc, can I see a minute, please? I want to talk to you. You can get dressed now. This is very important. Believe me, it's a matter of life or death. You've got to help us out. Me and my boy are in big trouble. Well, if your boy takes it easy, he'll be as good as new in a few days. He's only got measles. Only got measles. Doc, if he only had gangrene or typhoid fever, believe me, we could wring their hearts out. But the measles ain't got no class. It's kid stuff. They'll laugh at us. That's incredible. Doc, look. Let him hate us, love us, scream at us, print nasty things about us in the newspapers we go sailing on. But if they laugh at us, we're dead. Believe me. Would you mind terribly if we kept him here? Honey, has that con man been talking to you? No, but we've all had measles, so there's no problem there. Oh, it, it's a shame to send that poor sick boy off to a cold hotel room. He can stay at a hospital. But if the teenagers found out, honey, it's just for a few days. And when Mary and Jeff would get a kick out of it, I don't mind. Wilma, let's go, honey. The plane leaves in an hour. That's funny. It's locked. Well, uh, maybe they're over at my house, huh? We're in here, Brad. Both of us. Gee, it sounds like they're crying. What's wrong, Wilma? Open up. We can't. We've got the measles. All right, stop playing games. Your plane leaves in an hour and... <laughs> the measles? Oh, it can't be. You were both all right this morning. It broke out after you left to pick up the plane ticket. First Wilma, then me. We caught it from little Alonzo next door. Alonzo? I'll sue him. This could cost us 10,000 bucks. Yeah, that's right. You can't bake with measles. The cake may break out. And another thing, Brad. You'll have to stay with Barney at his house for a few days till we get over this. Measles are very contagious. Oh, this is awful. Oh, don't worry, Fred. Measles don't hurt. They sure do. The worst kind of pain in the pocketbook. You might as well return the plane tickets, Fred. Betty and I will never make that contest in time. Come on, Fred. Cheer up. Look at the bright side. We'll be batching it for a few days. Hey, we can go bowling every night. Stay up and see all the late, 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 late shows on TV. <laughs> we'll have a ball waiting for the girls to get over the measles. Barney. Oh, yeah, Fred? We ain't blowing that dough for a measly measle. Well, what do you mean, Fred? You know the girls can't leave the house. No, but we can. So? So, you and I are going to that bake-off contest. Peter. What are you doing home from school? They sent me home. Measles. That's either measles or a strange case of red freckles. You have got a temperature. They told me, 101.1. What's the record? Never mind. Oh, are you sure it's the measles? Well, he certainly got all the symptoms. A slight temperature, a lot of dots, and a great big smile. A great big smile? No school for a few days. Say hello to my dotted son for me. Tell him I'll bring him some comic books and I'll see you later, dear. Okay, honey, bye. Boy, this is the life, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. If you have to get sick, you sure can't beat the measles. That's right. No medicine. Inside or out. Like shots, I mean. Don't even mention shots. Yeah! <laughs> measles, measles, measles. Well, all the kids have now had the measles. So have I. Well, I had them years ago. Looks like the Bradys are finished with the measles. <laughs> Hold it.